This is an introduction to STEM programming with Python 3, Chapter 1, Literals and Arithmetic. I'm James Imbrano, PhD from Shawnee State University, and I'll be making this presentation. In this video, we'll be uh, covering the print function with one or more expression. We'll be covering the five basic mathematical operators, plus, minus, multiply, divide, and exponentiation. We'll also uh, talk about parentheses, so that'd be the sixth operation. We'll talk about two special integer operators, the percent sign and the slash slash, which represent the modulo of integer division and the result of integer division. We'll talk about string concatenation and multiplication, and we'll talk about comment statements. First, let's introduce things that we're going to call literal values or literals. In Python, we can put numbers and strings into our programs as literal values. We'll define what a string is in just a second. Numbers come in two types, integers, whole numbers, and floating point numbers that contain a decimal point and a fraction, a decimal fraction beyond the decimal point. Integers and, and floats can come in both negative and positive. Um, and you can see several examples of integers and floats there in the middle of the slide. Strings are a special kind of thing. They're a sequence of letters surrounded by either single quotes, double quotes, or triple quotes. And you can see examples of those um, on the bottom of the slide. A string is kind of, you can think of a string as words and text. The computer doesn't really understand what a string means. A string is for a human to understand, but it's a way that we store text values and values that aren't numeric values. We can include literals of strings just by putting a quote around them, and we can include numeric literals just by putting the number in our Python code. When a computer program becomes extremely complex, it often becomes necessary for programmers to put messages to themselves or future programmers that may be using or modifying this code. We call those statements comment statements. And in Python, any computer line that begins with a pound sign or any at the end of a statement, if there's a pound sign, you can then place text and the computer, Python, ignores those texts. We call those texts comment statements. They're used for notes, separation, and to make your program more readable. You know, when I uh, create an especially complex program, I'll put comments every so many statements, every now and then, just to remind myself what I was doing when I have to come back and fix that program in a year or two or even six months. Often, programmers will also use comment statements to sign, describe, and date a program, and those comment statements will be up at the top of the program with the name of the program, the programmer, the date they did it. You know, I'm proud of the code I write, and I hope you're proud of the programs you develop also. And so, Put your name on them and sign them with a comment. Python absolutely loves to do mathematics. In fact, the early computers were built to do computations for the military and for the government and for others, and even the modern computers still just love to do math. So I want to introduce the six basic mathematical operators. The first uses a plus sign for addition, and it will add two numbers together. If the numbers are both integers, the result will be an integer. If the numbers are a combination of integers and floats, or two floats, the result will be a floating point value. Subtraction is represented by a dash or a minus sign, and it works the same way, except the opposite of addition. And uh, if we subtract one integer from another, the result will be an integer. Otherwise, the result will be a float Multiplication is represented, and the symbol to do multiplication is the star or the asterisk. If we multiply two integers together, we get an integer. Otherwise, we get a floating point value. 
The forward slash is used to represent float divide, and the reason I call it float divide here in this presentation is because it will always return a floating point value. Even if you're dividing two integers and the results are a whole number, it will still return a floating point number. Exponentiation is done with two asterisks, or star star. Um, you place the number star star and the power that you want it taken to, and it will perform exponentiation. You can use a fractional number to do roots and square roots and cube roots and other, other roots. Um, and uh, it will return an integer if the number and the exponent are integers, but it will return a float otherwise. And then parentheses. Parentheses are always really important to group your expressions and to make sure everything stays together nice and pretty. And remember, parentheses are free, so use them to clarify your mathematical operations. So here we have our first Python program. And you can see on lines one and two, I've put in comments saying what the program does, and I put my name there because I'm proud of my program. On line four, I introduce the print statement. The print statement takes one or more values and displays them on the screen or displays, prints them out for you to see. You can see that by saying print two plus three, it printed five. See it up, up there? It printed a five. So it did the math of two plus three, adding the two integers and returned an integer value. On line five, notice that it's three times seven plus three, but I wanted the seven plus three to happen first. So that's three times 10 or 30. And you can see that 30 is the second line, the second uh, output that was printed. The next one is 5 eighths or 5 divided by 8, and you see that's 0 0.625. You see that uh, 5 star star 2 would take 5 to the second power, which gives us the integer 25, and 2 star star to the point 5, because if you remember that taking something to the half power is the same as the square root, gives us the square root of 2. 1.4142 approximately. There are two additional numeric operators that I want to discuss that are part of Python. They're not something that you think of often when you're doing math, but they are something that you know because you've seen them before. And the first is the percent sign, which calculates the remainder of integer division, and the slash slash, which calculates the quotient of integer division. Remember back to elementary school, remember back to your early grades when you were learning long division and you would take an integer and divide it into another and you would get the whole number, remainder, and then the remainder, the um, few that were left over. Well, the percent operator will give you the remainder of an integer division and the slash slash will return the integer part of a integer division both the uh, divisor and dividend must be integers for this to work. We'll see that in the next, uh, next program. Let's see those two integer division operators at work. For instance, if you were given the problem of divide 104 by 7, or 7 goes into 104, you can see that the quotient is 14, 14, and the remainder of that division would be 6. So 7 times 14 plus 6 would be equal to 104. The next two operators I'd like to introduce are two string operators. The first is concatenation, and the second is the repeat operator. Concatenation, we use the plus operator to concatenate or join two strings together. Just take one string and put another string and just jam them together, join them. That's called concatenation in computer programming. And we use the plus sign. Now, you cannot concatenate a string to a number. You cannot add a string to a number. When you're using the plus operator on two strings, it's not addition. Technically, it's concatenation. 
Um, the next string operator is the star operator, the multiply operator when we're dealing with numbers. But when we're dealing with strings, or we're dealing with a string and a number, the star operator tells Python to repeat the string a certain number of times. The repeat operator, the first operator is, or the first, um, the first argument is a string, star, and then the number of times an integer to repeat that string. Let's look at a program with, with both concatenation and the repeat operators. And in this simple program, we can see on line four, line four over here, um, we can see the strings ABC concatenated to the string XYZ, and the result is a, above. We can also see the string ABC repeated 10 times in the output above. Concatenation and repeat. I know you want to call it add and multiply. And it's not totally wrong if you do that, but, but let's use the technical terms of concat or concatenation and repeat. So this concludes our video on literal values, strings, and numbers, on the basic operations of numbers and strings, and uh, comment statements. I'd like to thank you for watching and remind you that this presentation is copyright 2019 by James Urbano, PhD, all rights reserved. If you have any questions, please contact me at jreno at shawnee.edu. This work is licensed to you under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 license. And again, I'd like to say thank you for watching.